The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Unlike most young adults, Diamond has no social media accounts, no Facebook, no Instagram, no Twitter. Here's why. I have a beard. I get ridiculed every day. People question my gender. No matter what I do, it just keeps coming back. I first noticed the facial hair growing in when I was 15. I would shave once a week. There were times that people didn't notice and teased me about it, but I really didn't pay too much attention to it. About three years ago, it started to get really bad. I had to start shaving every day. I've tried hair removal creams, waxing, but every day it comes back. It takes me about three hours to get ready. I shave my beard, I pluck my sideburns, and start to do my makeup, trying to get the perfect coverage. No matter what I do to hide it, people still notice. When I go into stores, I do see the stares, the looks, comments. I moved from job to job to job to get away from the bullying. I haven't been to a doctor because I'm embarrassed. I fear what the results might be. If I never would have shaved my face, maybe it wouldn't have grown as bad as it did. What mistake did I make? When I go out and I do my makeup and I'm feeling confident, I feel like I can do anything in the world. But the real me is a freak and I just want to stay home. I feel like my excessive hair is stopping me from being the person that I truly am. Please welcome Diamond to the show. <laughs> Diamond, I, watching you in that tape piece, it broke my heart because I, I see a beautiful woman sitting here before me. I'm really proud of you for sharing your story because it's so much more common than you would ever in a million years realize. And I, it's just, I feel for you, you've been suffering all alone with this. What's been the hardest part for you? The hardest part for me is the distance I put myself with, like, with my family. They always want to spend time with me, and I'm always like, no, I don't want to spend time. I don't want to go out anywhere. I just, it, it, it hurts the amount of self-pity I put myself through every single day. That's where it hurts. Well, one of the reasons that Diamond came here is because, obviously, Diamond doesn't want to wonder anymore what's going on. There was obviously a lot more to be done. We connected Diamond with Dr. Nita for a full consult in hopes to reach a diagnosis. I'm going to the doctor for the first time to get checked out for my condition. I'm feeling really nervous. I'm Dr. Nita. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, so what's going on? Uh, I'm having a few issues growing, you know, excessive facial hair. How often do you shave or wax? I do it every day. Would you say that this hair growth has caused you to have depression at any time or anything like that? Yes. Have you ever thought about harming yourself? I have thought about it. <sighs> I think about the things that people said every single day and it's just, it plays in my mind and I just can't get rid of it. Words hurt. Right. They do hurt. Although we're here to address the hair growth, we also need to address the emotional aspect right. of this. Because at the end of the day, I want you to feel good when you look in the mirror. Say it with me. Say, I, <laughs> I am beautiful. One more time. I am beautiful. Say it with conviction. <laughs> I am beautiful. I want to do a physical exam. We'll also do an ultrasound to look at your ovaries. And additionally, we need to get some blood work on you. Okay. Once we get all of those results back, mm -hmm. then I'll be able to give you a definitive diagnosis mm -hmm. and then we're gonna make Diamond feel good about herself. Okay. Inside and out. So, uh, Dr. Nita, thank you obviously for seeing Diamond. I know the two of you connected. Diamond, did it feel, did it feel good to, to finally talk to a doctor about everything you've been going through and to get that exam and get some testing done? 
It did. It felt great. I felt a sense of relief, like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders that someone is finally listening to me and not judging me by my appearance, but what I, but what I tell them. So it, it, it felt good. And I thank you for listening to me. Thank you. And Dr. Nita, I know that one of the most important things that we do when we see a new patient is to listen. And I know you heard Diamond's story. You also did an exam, sent off lab work. And Diamond, I know you're, you're kind of anxious to figure out what may be going on. So Dr. Nita? So first of all, I've told you this several times, I think that you are beautiful on the inside and the outside. So we're gonna, yeah, right? So based on what we found as far as your clinical presentation, the lab results that are available and the ultrasound we did, it looks like you do have PCOS, which stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. And in fact, in about 75 to 80% of young ladies who present with excessive hair growth, PCOS is the, the etiology, so it is the cause. And PCOS is basically a hormonal imbalance where women have an abnormally high androgen level, and that's a male hormone, and that's what causes the hair growth. So the good news is, now that we have a diagnosis, we can look at getting you what you need to address your issues with the hair growth. And at the same time, we can keep an eye on other issues that can go along with PCOS. For example, people sometimes have high blood pressure or diabetes or high cholesterol. So we can make sure that we're addressing those issues as well to make sure you're healthy all around. So we have a diagnosis and now we can get to work. And I think it's important to highlight, Diamond, that you feel alone, but this really is the most common yeah. endocrine disorder in women of reproductive age. And so, you know, you really are, for so many women out there watching, you're helping them okay. and I'm, feel um, yeah. better about themselves today. Right. I think that's the most important piece. Yeah. And then also understanding that there is nothing that you did wrong. We don't totally understand why PCOS happens, but there de definitely is a genetic link. And I know that other people in your family have also had issues yes. with this. They have. So it's nothing that you did. And once again, you are beautiful. Okay. And I know, Diamond, that one of the things you mentioned is that you're just so tired of before you go anywhere, shaving and plucking and all that. So there are solutions for that. And Dr. Sergey Zitar of Vederma Advanced Laser Skin Care in your hometown is going to offer you six laser hair removal treatments for your jawline, your sideburns, all that area where you have the hair growth completely free of charge. <laughs> We also talked about the fact that it can be very emotional. Emotional for you and emotional for other women experiencing what you're experiencing. So one of the executive producers here at The Doctor actually created Doctors On Demand and they're going to give you five complimentary sessions with a licensed therapist so you can feel good on the inside, okay? We want you feeling good on the inside. You did it. What's going through your mind, Diamond? I'm happy. I'm thankful. Even though I do have PCOS, I'm just wondering if there's what's wrong with me. Like, I just, I, I want to feel beautiful. I want people to see me for me. And I just, I just don't know what, I don't know how to feel right now because I've been dealing with this for so long and. So Diamond, the one thing I want to say to you is yes, you got this formal diagnosis, but PCOS is something that can be managed. It doesn't define you, you define you. Right. And you are beautiful and I, those are not words. That is the God's honest truth. You are beautiful. 
and everything that Dr. Nita told me about you and our, our producers who had had the chance to talk with you, you truly are beautiful on the inside out. And you've been through so much just opening up and sharing your story with everyone here. I know that was so hard for you. This really is the beginning for you. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? You really, you're not alone. And the, I, I, I feel confident that these treatments are gonna help you so much in terms of regaining some of your mm -hmm. confidence. You know, and today is not the end point, it's the, be, the beginning. What? <laughs> you, feel, you feel the happiness? I yes? do, I do, yes. I do. I'm very excited, I, I am, and I'm, I'm glad that I can be sort of a spokesperson for the people that are dealing with the same issue as me because I felt like I was the only one and when I would look at other women I wouldn't see their facial hair or see anything that's wrong with them so I just I'm glad that I'm able to talk about it and be a leader for these other women that's dealing with the yes. same issue. and I have no doubt you will be just that and certainly, if you're at home watching and you want more information on PCOS, head to our website. I do want to thank Sentara Healthcare for Diamonds Laboratory Services. And certainly, Dr. Nita, thank you so much for seeing Diamond. My pleasure. Diamond, you keep on smiling, okay? We'll be right back.